We are officially looking at the internships and jobs that I'm going to apply for. We're looking at the different companies that I talked to uh, through the Zoom call. I realized that I have to really start looking because the deadlines are coming up. Some of their deadlines are like in a few days. So we're looking at stuff. This site uh, tells me to fill out some stuff and uh, continue. Now, it's supposed to be an application. So I don't know what uh, lengths I have to go to to apply. Oh, okay, select a school that is most relevant. I just realized that this is step two out of nine. We have a far, far road ahead. Never mind. the rest of the questions were super, super easy. Uh, I think we are about to go to the last step. It might say upload a resume. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Okay. Well, good thing I finished my resume. Really, I did finish it and it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I got some advice on what to put or how to format some things. I think it's good to go. So this is what I'm going to be uploading. Also, there's this type of question, a very new type of question that I've never seen before until now when I was like applying to jobs and stuff. What percentage of time are you willing to travel? And that's a question I've never seen before. So I had to search this up on Google and apparently it's like, how much of your time at work do you want to spend like traveling and i hear like 100 percent is like you basically just like go around everywhere or something like that i don't know that's the explanation i got so i'm just gonna put like up to 20 percent no clue what that means but i feel like you know one fifth is good enough let's submit it let's submit it you know it's a pretty good idea actually i'm gonna be making a google sheets spreadsheet and i'm just gonna keep track of what roles i sign up for i feel like if i just do too many i'm gonna lose track of everything and it's gonna be bad just a few hours later an assessment to fill out it's not timed but they say well the estimated time is 20 minutes so do it under 20 minutes we noticed you're taking your time if that is your natural pace that's okay but remember don't overthink your responses do your best to answer as quickly as possible it's usually best to go with your first reaction they're aware i'm taking my time damn that's crazy yesterday i began applying to this company and while i was applying their page decided to go into maintenance and kind of everything just went away and now we're answering a question of what i expect for my base compensation AKA salary. Yeah, they're really doing this, huh? I did like very shallow research, intern salary for this specific role. And it seems to be like around $20 per hour-ish. So that's probably what I'm gonna write. Hey bro, I don't know how to work this though. Like I can't be like, I expect $20 per hour. Congratulations, your application has been successfully submitted. I guess we can add that to the spreadsheet too then. We're gonna do 2022 first rather than 2023. Although I do hear a lot of students get their junior internships first before their sophomores. And we just submitted another um, application for summer of 2023. So one year later. Yeah, I think it's good to like stack up on two. Now I need a uh, an unofficial transcript. There's been a lot of things to do uh, recently. I, well, I do need to ultimately make this video. I have been making other videos and there's a test coming up. Right now it's uh, February 19th, Saturday. I have a test on Tuesday. It's my first exam, and it will be my managerial accounting one. Kind of has been slightly rough, rougher than I thought, so it's not great, but hopefully I get through it. I might have to attach a cover letter, which I do not have. Oh, I see what it is. Resume and transcripts are needed, required. A cover letter is not needed. So I guess we're just gonna just, you know, we're just gonna go the easy route. We're gonna do what is absolutely necessary. Since we don't have a cover letter, we're not gonna do that, obviously. First location preference, obviously, New York. First location percent weight, what does that mean? Is that like preference? Oh, I would like this location like that much? Or is it like, are you, is this the, how much are you willing to travel question again? What is this? I need to search up on. And I'm getting physics results now because I'm saying weight and percent weight. Is it like, oh, I would like, for me to get my uh, first preference 75% of the time if possible. I'm just gonna say 25 as, as a honest bet. Uh, wait, if I do 25 in the first one, second location is automatically registered as 75. Uh, in that case, I'm gonna go with 100% for the first one. Yeah, I think it's preference level. My second preference, I'm just gonna put it as LA if they have one. Yep, they do have LA, okay. Provide comments regarding the rationale for your location preferences. Oh boy, okay. And then it asks me the question, what percentage of time are you willing to travel? I'm gonna research that question. The percentage of travel is a portion of the total amount of hours or days you are willing to travel. For example, if your employer asks you to travel at least 20% of the time, that means up to two, 384 hours traveled? What does that mean? Or in other words, 
16 days out of the year. Travel? Like, so we're going global. Does, does it mean that? I'll say up to 25. I don't think they mean a morning commute kind of travel. I think they literally mean fly around to different cities and countries kind of travel, which I think is hilarious because we're already thinking about this from an internship, really. A lot has happened since we last uh, spoke to the camera. Congratulations, we are pleased to invite you with interviews to 30 minute virtual behavioral interviews. Oh my God. It says that the interviews will take place on Thursday and Friday. That's this week. Today is Tuesday at night. That's like basically tomorrow. When I first read the title, the subject one, I thought it was gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna have like a month to prepare for this interview. Just relax, you know, we'll just get a few questions prepared in our heads. They're like, nah, it's gonna be this week. Bro, what? Okay, well clearly I have to do this. In the club I'm in, we uh, are like mentored by some upperclassmen on like, coffee chats and interviews and stuff. I guess they weren't lying when they said, we're gonna have to skip some classes sometime. Nine to 10, 11 to 12, 12 to one, two to three I'm guessing and three to four, or you could do Friday. I don't want to like dig into my class time if possible. I don't really want to do an interview on Friday morning. So it's gonna be one of these times, 2 p.m. That's what we will do. I am gonna have to prepare for that interview. Oh my God. Wow, I thought this was gonna be a multi week long process. I bet the results though, they're gonna take weeks to come out. Like it's got to. They're not gonna have an interview and be like, oh yeah, this guy's good. Let's have him in. Something tells me that they're, they, they're gonna like stretch it out. Okay, it's the next day. It is Wednesday. I got another email, campus with recruiting manager says something about scheduling a meeting that is going to be on Fridays. This is going to be a very short meeting. We can choose from 1045, 115 or 145. I feel like 115 could work. By the way, this meeting is going to take place on Outlook. I don't think I've ever done a, an Outlook meeting. All right. So we signed up for a meeting. Oh boy. Welcome back. I'm dressed up because it's 30 minutes before my interview. For the past day, since yesterday, I was practicing the questions that might come up and you know, just trying to get my whereabouts on a lot of things. So yeah, I'm trying to get my mind straight right now, trying to prepare for the interview. And I'm back, we're done with the interview. It is 3 p.m. Oh my God, that was, uh, that was crazy. I forgot how, how like stressful interviews can be. Like you gotta like super hone in your, like your, your brain. You have to extra turn it, man. You have to be like extra aware of what you're talking about. And it's like hyper focus is literally like hyper focus state. I think it went well, honestly. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I've done anything wrong, anything. Uh, I answered the questions pretty, pretty smoothly. I'm not gonna lie. I'm impressed at myself at how I reacted to the questions. Almost none of them were what I expected. So I'm very, I'm very proud of how I handled everything. Success. And I guess we'll see what comes up in the following days. The results and other stuff like that, I guess. <sighs> Day two, we are ready for our interview or meeting, I guess. I guess like it was phrased as a meeting, but I'm pretty sure it's like a euphemism for interview, which is gonna happen in 10 minutes. Don't know what's gonna happen. Really don't know what they're gonna do in 15 minutes, really, because that's half the time it was compared to yesterday. So yesterday, per interviewer, it was 30 minutes. So like the first, five to 10 minutes would be like introductions. I guess first five minutes. The next 15 minutes would be like them asking me questions. And the last 10 minutes would be me asking them questions. So is that gonna be like super sped up today? No clue. I am about to find out. That's over. It is uh, 1.30, so that did last for like 15 minutes. And it turned out it wasn't an interview. Yeah, it was literally like a meeting just to like get to know uh, each other, I guess. So like there weren't like any questions, you know, the assessing questions that interviews would ask. None, none of it like that. It was like a genuine, uh, casual conversation. Like the question that might remotely come close is like, why, why are you doing uh, signing up for this role in like this position? So I guess it was like really easy. So what I have to do, apparently, is uh, send over my availability for next week, and apparently there's gonna be an interview, and then if that goes well, there's gonna be more interviews. So that's gonna be something to look forward to.